Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about an essay for Mr. Vernon. I don't know how many of you have ever seen the movie The Breakfast Club, but I know it used to be, and maybe still is, one of my wife's favorite movies. And she likes to watch it. So our focal scripture today is going to come from 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7, which says, For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Israel desperately wanted a king. Saul looked like the perfect man for the job. He was rich, tall, strong, handsome, and very humble. On the battlefield, he was a fierce warrior and a strong leader. But Saul couldn't follow God faithfully. Ultimately, God had to replace him as king. But Saul couldn't follow even the very smallest of, of things. And, God lo and Saul lost favor with God. In the movie The Breakfast Club, five students must spend an entire Saturday serving detention in their high school's library. As they gather at 7 a.m., they see each other as classmates and teachers see them as the brain, the athlete, the basket case, the, a princess, and a criminal. Their interactions during the few hours uh, are depicted and dictated by the preconceived notions that they have of each other, notions that are reinforced by each person's outward appearance. As the five began to reveal more about themselves, they realized that they have a great deal in common. Exercises and experiences, dreams, fears, and feelings of isolation. But at the end of the day, the five have become friends and united against a common enemy, the vice principal, who required each of them to write an essay. One student, the brain, writes the essay for all of them. Dear Mr. Vernon, we accept the fact that we had to sacrifice our whole Saturday in detention for whatever it was that we did wrong. But we think you're crazy to make us write an essay to tell you what we think we are. You see us as you want to see us, in the simplest of terms, in the most convenient definitions. But what we found out is that each one of us is a brain, and an athlete, and a basket case, and a princess, and a criminal. Does that answer your question? Sincerely, yours, The Breakfast Club. The Mr. Vernons of the world look only at the outward appearance. God knows our hearts. So let's look at this passage in context. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 4 through 13. Samuel did what the Lord commanded and came to Bethlehem. The elders of the city came to meet him, trembling, and said, do you come peace, peaceably? And he said, Peaceably I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate your, yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. And they came and they looked on Eliab and thought, Surely this is the Lord anointed before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't look at the appearance of or on the height of the stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees, but he looks on the out as man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. And then Jesse sent Shammah to pass by, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. And Jesse made seven of the sons pass by, and Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen any of these. And then Samuel said to Jesse, Are all your sons here? And he said, There remains yet the youngest, but behold, he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and get him, and we will sit down until he comes here. And he sit and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and of beautiful eyes and very handsome. 
And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for it is him. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers, and the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. So let's look at some questions that we can reflect on and draw some applications from. How do, you, how do others see you in high school? How do people see you now? How do you think others see you through the lens of your accomplishments or even your failures? As a role that you play at work or you're in your family? As someone who used to be? How does God see you and why? Why did God choose David? For what has God chosen you? And why did God choose you for that? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, help uh, us to look past, past the outward appearances, just as you urged Samuel to anoint the small shepherd boy as the future king of Israel. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.